Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to model this kind of sheet metal elbow using SolidWorks. You can see sheet metal elbow composed by four parts: one, two, three, and the four. So I am also going to show you how to generate the 2D drawing for each and every four parts. When manufacturing the elbow, this uh, four part have to manufacture separately. So to manufacture each and every part, we need flatten view of the each and every sheet metal. So here you can see the uh, 2D drawing generated from the each uh, flattened view for part 1 and part 3 you can see. These uh, 2D drawings can use to cut the sheet metal into a required geometrical shapes. So then after rolling and welding this kind of uh, elbow can manufacture. Ok let's see how to model this kind of elbow using SolidWorks. Go to a new uh, part drawing, click OK, select the front plane and sketch, go to sketch, draw the circle, then make it for construction, ok, then take the center line, draw the horizontal center line, between these two and draw the vertical center line also. Click OK. Then I am going to use the power trim. OK. So then we are going to give the dimensions. Give the dimensions as a thousand uh, millimeter. This one also thousand millimeter. OK. Okay, then take the line, then draw the line, four lines, because this uh, elbow composed by four parts, so we are going to draw the four lines, let's take this uh, dimension of this uh, line as uh, Three hundred. Select this uh, both line, this one with the control button, click this one. So make them equal. Okay. Select uh, these two lines also make them equal. So then I am going to make all for these uh, lines a tangent with this arc. Click on this uh, line and click on this arc. So go to add a relationship tangent. Okay. So click on, click on this one, click on this one and make them tangent. This one and this one make them tangent. This one and this one make them tangent. Here you can see the whole four lines are tangent to the arc. Then exit sketch. This is our path. This is our path. So go to top plane, draw the circle by taking the center point as uh, this point this is our center point draw the circle give dimensions 600 uh, millimeter in diameter then again exit sketch actually what we are going to do is we are going to create the solid elbow using the swept command then we are going to convert into a shell model then after we are going to convert into a sheet metal. Ok, to create the uh, solid elbow, go to features, you choose uh, swept boss base command. So then the profile and path we have to view. The uh, profile is uh, sketch 2, path is sketch 1. Here you can see, 
generated solid elbow let me change the appearance okay so then this uh, solid body we are going to call convert into a shell model to make into shell hollow shell click on this face with the control sign click on this face so then go to shell then uh, this elbow we are going to manufacture using the 3 mm sheet metal thickness so make this dimension as 3 mm click ok here you can see the uh, shell model elbow then we are going to open this uh, circular hollow model in uh, one side to open it in one side we are going to generate the small cut we okay, go to a front plane make it uh, normal then sketch draw the circle take its diameter beyond this uh, inner surface of this uh, cylindrical part so then it will cut this uh, four edges then go to features extruded cut select the mid plane cut then choose this give this dimension as uh, 2 mm click ok you can see the close uh, hollow model open in one side here you can see so then uh, what we are going to do is here you can see it is uh, composed by four part we are going to separate these four part and we are going to convert each and every part into a uh, 2D sheet metal. Okay, to split this uh, body into four parts, we have to introduce uh, cutting plane through these uh, mating surfaces, mating joints. So to introduce uh, cutting plane, go to reference geometry, plane. So click on this uh, join that insert the plane through this uh, cutting plane click ok again go to reference geometry plane that is this one so then it in include the cutting plane so then again go to the surface geometry plane that is this one so then click on this edge then it automatically enters the cutting plane here you can see we have in included the cutting plane through these uh, mating surfaces then we are going to split this uh, body that means we are going to cut this body through these planes introduce planes so then we are in the four parts so go to direct editing then split then uh, we have to select the uh, for plane this commands allow you to cut the body into a different parts through the uh, plane or surfaces so select the plane plane 1 plane 2 uh, with the control sign you can select plane 3 so then click on this uh, cut cut part you can see it has uh, cut into a four parts click on this uh, tick mark okay click ok you can see this uh, let me first let me hide this one planes okay you can see this uh, body has split into a four part first part second part third part and the fourth part so then what we are going to do is uh, we are going to open each and every part separately and we are going to convert each and every part into a uh, sheet metal then for each and every part we are going to generate the 2d drawing so let's open the first part right click and go to insert into new part so that that means it inserted into a new uh, part it open as a new part 
click OK. The task uh, to save the file. So let's uh, create the folder to save this uh, part. Elbow 3. So then give the name. Give the name. So I'll give name as uh, part uh, 1. Save. Okay, let me change the appearance. Okay. This is the first part. It is still not a sheet metal. So we have to convert it into sheet metal. One of the methods to convert it to a sheet metal is uh, we can use this command the insert bin. By introducing the by using this uh, command we are going to convert it into sheet metal. Click on this uh, one of this edge, then uh, click OK. You can see it has converted into a sheet metal. It has converted into a sheet metal. So then uh, you can uh, flatten this uh, body. Let's take uh, this command flatten. It will show the flatten view. You can see it has show the flatten view. This is the required uh, geometrical shape geometrical sheet metal shape required to manufacture this first part so then we can save it as a 2d drawing okay, before going to that one let me save this uh, platinum view platinum uh, part go to save as the part one platinum save okay let's open the second one also The second geomet second body I'm going to open. Right click, insert into new part. Click OK. That will open in a new window. It again asks to save the file. So I'm giving the new name uh, part two. Save. Let me change the appearance also. This is the second part. So then again we are going to convert into a sheet metal. So click on this edge and go to insert bin. Click OK. Keep these uh, parameters as it is. Uh, click OK. Yes, I want to convert into a sheet metal. So you can see it has converted into a sheet metal. So then we can obtain the flatten view by click on this uh, button. It generates the flatten view. Here you can see the flatten view. Platinum view. So then we can save this uh, platinum view. Save as part two. Platinum. Save. Where okay, this is the uh, platinum view. Then this all of this uh, platinum view we can put into a, a 2D standard uh, drawing. So for this one, I'm going to uh, new drawing. So 2D drawing, click OK. So I'm going to use the custom sheet format. Open. OK. So then uh, part one pat uh, pattern view, pattern view I'm going to first introduce. Click uh, next. Then uh, yeah. Flat pattern we want flat pattern. So then uh, I'm going to use the scale, custom scale. So I'm going to a little bit enlarge this one. Let's take uh, 15. Yeah, it's suitable. No? Yeah, okay. Put it in here. Okay, click OK. Here you can see the our first part uh, platinum view in a 2d drawing so then again i'm going to insert the second uh, model also go to insert model second one click next so platinum view we need again uh, choose the scale 
first time scale let's take uh, 15 let's take uh, it is orientation we have to change uh, you can use this one 90 yeah better you can take okay you can see our second one okay so the, these are the two uh, 2d views these are the two 2d views so then uh, we can give the dimensions for the, this one let me dimension the dimension this one When uh, going to cut this sheet mill, some additional uh, dimensions are needed. So this is how we are. We can give the additional dimensions. If it is a manual cutting process, these additional dimensions are very important. Okay. To get the required geometrical shapes, uh, these additional dimensions are needed. So I will show you just uh, introducing four, uh, three additional dimensions. Let's take. Uh, Two fifty, three hundred, then uh, we can uh, do the dimensions. Okay, these additional dimensions are very important uh, because uh, we need going to cut using the manual process. These additional dimensions are extremely important. In this way, we can give the whatever the dimensions. Okay, so the note. Let's take the part one. Part one. Let's take a uh, part two. Okay, in this way uh, we can uh, get, uh, generate the 2D drawing from the each and every part. So then we can save it as a, a PDF format also. Let me show that one also. So uh, file save as PDF save. Here we can see saved uh, PDF file here. In this way, we can model uh, sheet metal elbow using the SOLIDWORKS. And also, for each and every part, we can generate the 2D drawings like this. That's all. I think you all got a very clear idea how to model the sheet metal elbow using SOLIDWORKS. If you learned something from this video, please like the video. If you want to see more video, in the mechanical engineering subscribe to top make video thank you see you next time